Hello, I'm Slim Awali, PhD holder of chemistry physics. Before we begin, thank you to the organizing committee, ISBM. I'm happy to have this chance to speak to you today about part of my research titled Solvation Dynamics of the Excited Dabco Molecule Deposited on an Argon Cluster. The solvation of the Dabco molecule by argon atoms is examined here using quantum chemistry methods. The configuration of the ar argon atoms around the Dabco molecule is not obvious. Two configurations are possible. The argon atoms prefer to bind to each other, which leads to a Dabco molecule solvated at the surface of the argon cluster, or the argon atoms prefer to bind to Dabco in equivalent positions, which results into a Dabco molecule inside the little rare gas cluster. In this slide, I will describe the experimental setups. A cluster source is coupled with a pickup deposition cell. The beam carrying argon cluster, clusters is generated by supersonics expansion through a hundred micrometer nozzle using a pulse valve operating at 20 Hz with a backing pressure of 16 bar in the nozzle source. The average size of the clusters is estimated to argon 500. The cluster beam exits the source chamber through a schema and enters into the pickup chamber. A needle is used to the latter chamber with a low pressure of Dabco molecules, which are picked up collisionally by the argon clusters. The pressure in the pickup chamber is maintained low enough so a negligible amount of clusters carry more than one Dabco molecule. Finally, the pump probe technique and photoelectron spectroscopy were used to study the relaxation of the excited electron state. Two dynamics was observed. One was investigated at short time, 0 to 4 picoseconds. The action spectrum of the deposit Dabco molecule was measured by RAMPI over the range 275 to 265 nanometers by steps of 0.025 nanometer. Photoelectron spectra were coll collected for each wavelength. Two solvation sites on the cluster were observed spectroscopically differing through an absorption threshold of 60 cm to minus 1 and photoelectron energy of 0 0.21 eV. The time resolved photoelectronic signal is shown in this figure for a 265.1 nanometer pump and a 399 nanometer probe, both having the same polarization parallel to the detector. Initially, the site 1 is only populated and moves to site 2 in 0.27 picoseconds. A rearrangement of the Dabco cluster geometry was observed and discussed as a jump between two solvation sites which differ by the number of argon atoms forming the first solvation shell about Dabco. Both sites are populated in the ground electronic state of Dabco. A substantial site transfer is induced by electronic excitation from the most site S1 to the least solvation site S2. Here the dynamics is followed up to 500 picosecond. The temporal dependence of the center energy of tracks 1 and 2 is shown in this figure and is another information concerning the intrinsic dynamics of the excited Dabco argon clusters. The scale of the figure pre precludes observation of the short time dynamics below 4 pixels. Two additional time decays 14 picoseconds and greater than 150 picoseconds. In this slide, 
a tomographic view of the DABCO excites orbital, orbital driven by the overall rotation of the DABCO argon clusters. Three processes are at play. Tau 1 equals 0 0.27 picosecond. DABCO jumps from one side to the other one. Tau 2 equals 14 picosecond, where the excess energy due to the side jump is dissipated within the cluster. This dynamics is superimposed on a much slower one, tau 3, greater than 150 picosecond, where the internal energy of the DABCO molecule is dissipated over the cluster. When comparing the left and right panels of the total photoelectron signals, the intensities of track 1 and 2 don't have the same behavior as a function of the pump probe time delay t. These differences appear between experiments that differ by the relative polarization direction of the pump and the probe lasers, either parallel or per per perpendicular. Only tracks 1 and 2 carry significance regarding the dynamics of the photo-excited DABCO argon clusters. The TSD analysis as a function of the pump probe time delay shows that the time scale of the anisotropy is correlated with the rotation of the argon cluster. It seems like the, the polarization anisotropy effect is essentially sensitive to the rotation of the cluster. See the paper for traditional information. Conclusion A multiscale dynamics is observed. First, the DABCO molecule jumps from one side to another one. Then, in the 14 picoseconds regime, the dissipation within the cluster of the excess vibrational energy due to the side jump takes place, followed by very slow one, not completed within the 500 picoseconds of the experiment, whether the internal energy of the DABCO molecule is relaxed toward the cluster. The parameter of doubled polarization and angular anisotropy produce a tomographic formation on the non-sphericity of the orbit which is probed. Finally, thank you very much for your attention.